Making music for a child's heart, body, and mind. Online class number 33. Hi everybody, it's Don from The Learning Station and this is online class number 33. 10, 20, 30, and 3. Wow! The first song today is about science. And did you know science is everywhere? Have you ever gone outside and seen rainbows or leaves on a tree or butterflies or maybe even you played in a puddle? This is all science. Science is everywhere outside it's sometimes inside, too, if you've got plants and things that grow from the outside. So let's do a song all about science. Let's learn some really cool science words. Here we go. is a part of our everyday lives wonderful surprises right before your very eyes say hibernation, hibernation. Evaporation. evaporation gravity, gravity. and metamorphosis Hibernation is the way some animals keep warm all day In the cold winter months like the bear in a cave Birds fly south and that's called migration Hibernation, migration Frogs are in the mud and they sleep all day And squirrels gather nuts in the autumn days So they can stay warm in their winter ways When they do, then that's called hibernation Say hibernation, hibernation evaporation, evaporation, gravity, gravity and metamorphosis. Evaporation happens fast, it starts like a puddle but it doesn't last. The sun comes out and it heats to steam, but you can't see what seems to be evaporation. Evaporation, evaporation, say hibernation, hibernation. Evaporation. evaporation, gravity, gravity. and metamorphosis. Gravity is a special force It holds everything very close to the earth Just like a magnet pulling down to the ground And what goes up must come down Must come down Say hibernation, hibernation. Evaporation. Evaporation. Gravity. Gravity. Gravity And metamorphosis Metamorphosis is coming soon for the caterpillar and his cocoon. He changes to a butterfly. I don't know, do you know why it happens? Metamorphosis, say hibernation, hibernation. Evaporation. evaporation, gravity, gravity. and metamorphosis. Science is a part of our everyday lives Wonderful surprises right before your very eyes Science oh, oh, oh. Science oh, oh, oh. Science Let us know what's your favorite part of the science song. Is it hibernation, evaporation, gravity, or metamorphosis? Don! What? Why do you have a monkey hat on? I don't. Yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> Lori said that we had to be a little bit more funny, so I know I don't look funny, but I feel kind of funny. <laughs> Anybody got a banana? Anyway, for our next song is called Stomp and Clap. It has nothing to do with the monkey on my head. Usually you get a monkey on your back. But anyway, it goes stomp, stomp, clap. 
stomp, stomp, clap, and that's what it's all about. It's a movement song, but it's to, done to the tune of some of the, uh, well, really famous nursery rhymes. So let's do it together. It's a callback answer. So make sure when I go, Mary, Mary, quite contrary, you answer with that back, okay? All right, let's do it. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Take a look at my new invention. It's a ball that makes absolutely no noise when you bounce it. If you think this looks like fun, check it out. Physical Ed. So this today's basketball game has been canceled. Please keep yourself busy. Use your imagination. <laughs> the monkey left, but now we have a tiger. <laughs> That's not what a tiger sounds like. Hey, uh, Mr. Tiger, do you know how many stripes you have? No, I don't know how many stripes I have. I'm an excellent ventrilo ventriloquist, by the way. Well, um, did you ever try to count them? No, I never tried to count them. Why do you keep moving your arm? I don't know why I keep moving your arm. Whoa. Easy, easy, Mr. Tiger. Anyway, next song is all about counting, and it's to see how many humps are on a camel. Let's do it. 
Can you tell me how many humps a camel has? I don't, I don't know. know. How many humps does a camel have? Well, there's only one way that we can find out. Let's sing a song about our camel friend named Alice and begin with ten humps. Here we go. Alice the camel has ten humps. Alice the camel has ten humps. Alice the camel has ten humps. Go, Alice, go. Oh, oh, oh. Alice the camel has nine humps. Alice the camel has nine humps. Obviously had ten humps. This next song is all about tongue twisters. Can you say toy boat five times fast? I can perfectly. Toy boat, toy boat, toy boy, toy boy, toy toy boy. Bo. No, I can't. Can't do it very well at all. But Lori can. Lori, can you do it right for, right now for us? Oh yes, I can. Well, let's hear it. Toy boat, 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 toy boat. That's about ten times fast. That's very difficult to do. Anyway, this song is all about tongue twisters. Put them together with rock and roll nursery rhymes. And what do you get? This next video. Let's have some fun. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? He would chuck as much wood as a woodchuck could if a woodchuck could chuck wood. Old King Cole was a merry old soul. A merry old soul was he. He called for his pipe. He called for his bowl. And he called for the fiddlers three. Rock and roll. Nursery rhymes, rock and roll, nursery rhymes, rock and roll, nursery rhymes, rock and roll, nursery rhymes. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall, and Humpty had a great big fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Rock and roll, nursery rhymes, rock and roll. Nursery rhymes, rock and roll, nursery rhymes, rock and roll, nursery rhymes. Little Miss Muffet sat on the tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider and sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. Rock and roll, nursery rhymes, rock and roll, nursery rhymes, rock and roll. Nursery rhymes, rock and roll, nursery rhymes. Hey diddle diddle, cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such a sport, and dish ran away with the spoon. Rock and roll, nursery rhymes, rock and roll, nursery rhymes. Rock and roll, nursery rhymes, rock and roll. Rock and roll, nursery rhymes. 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 Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers, Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, then where's the peck of pickled peppers that Peter Piper picked? We want to hear from you. 
Which nursery rhyme was your favorite? Old King Cole, Humpty Dumpty, Little Miss Muffet, or Hey Diddle Diddle?